Hey everyone, Leo with The Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our Partridge in a Pear Tree Christmas card. Now this is one of six cards from our new bundle and I have all of my pieces cut out in front of me here. Now uh, I'm actually redoing this one. I've already finished it and the reason I'm doing it again is because I forgot to hit record. <laughs> well that was, a, that was a bright move there. Um, so anyway, the card base I've already pre-folded now what you wanna do is identify the front of the card. And you can do that by finding the little, uh, there's little dots here, one here and one here. And that's to help you get this centered once you place it down, okay? So this is the front of our card. I'm gonna begin by just putting this panel inside. And this is where you're gonna write your little message or do your stamping. If you know how, you can use your machine to write your message and your sentiment or whatever you wanna include in your Christmas card. So just get your glue on there and just make sure that when you put this down that we maintain a nice even border all the way around so that it looks nicely framed. Okay. I've got my handy brayer helping me today. Okay, and then um, I've already kind of laid this out in order. That's all we're gonna do is just put these in order, one on top of the other. So this is the bottom layer. So you wanna find this layer next. Okay, we're gonna put our glue on the back and just pop that right on top of the bottom layer. And then we're just gonna keep stacking these layers until the card is complete. So it's very, very simple. And try to get some glue in these little nooks and crannies here. There's nothing very, there's nothing really fragile about any of these pieces, but just wanna make sure we get everything glued down nicely. Okay, so just line that up with the previous layer. Obviously the entire perimeter is exactly the same. So if you have that on top of it flush around the perimeter, you know you're in good shape. Okay, so this is the next layer here. Let me show you. Okay, your top layer is gonna be, I'm not using it in this one because I'm redoing it, but your top layer is gonna be your pattern piece. I suppose you could just do it in white if you want. It would still look great. I'll show you our final one here in a second. My first go around with this. We've got a, uh, a beautiful paper from DCWV. It's the LeBlanc stack. I think it's still in production. I think it's a very popular one, which is why it's still in production. And it's a nice white paper with a just very subtle a little pattern on it. I'll show you here. You can see that beautiful pattern on there. It's just a nice little striped pattern. It gives it a nice classy look, okay? And this is the last layer here. Let's get our glue on that. My glue bottle's being weird today. Here we go. I'm sure I've said that many times, actually. All right, so just go easy on the glue. No need to glob it on there. Just be, don't be too generous with it. And then there are some little areas here on the wings and the neck and the head you wanna get a little bit of glue on there. If you accidentally maybe got a little bit too much, just take your finger and just kinda of dab that glue a little bit to thin it out so that when we do put it in place, it doesn't come smearing out and blemishing this yellow layer. Okay, so just line that up nicely. And there you go. And you can see how it all just kinda of comes together here in the end. Now, one thing you might wanna do, you can see here on my Final, I took a tiny little rhinestone and I popped that right on there for our um, partridge's eyeball. Uh, you could draw it in if you want. I think a rhinestone is gonna be your best bet just because it's very consistent and nice and round. Sometimes if you use um, a pen or something or even a pencil, because of the texture on the AC cardstock, it doesn't really uh, make for a clean transfer. So, uh, anyway, we're going to take and we're actually going to put some foam squares on the back of this and use that to add even more dimension to this card. 
And because we have about four layers on here, I don't think you really need that many to hold this up. I like to kind of flip it over and give it the push test. If you push and it you know bends or bows, then you may need to add a few extra foam squares in certain spots. But again, because there's four layers of cardstock, it's gonna be very rigid, very unlikely that it's going to dip or bend or bow, okay? So again, we've got the little marker there and then the other marker here. You simply wanna just kinda of use those. Those are your center points. You wanna line that up with those markers as accurately as you can. Here we go, just like that. And then we have this little area down here for our little banner. Now on the original card, you can see that I had a gold foil there. I didn't wanna waste the gold foil, so I just used a yellow piece that somewhat resembles gold. We'll put glue on the white section, and then that is gonna get glued to the top section here of this piece, just like so. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna take and also put some foam squares on this guy. And I'm gonna do three on this one. I'm pro actually gonna keep this card. I'll be able to send it out. I tried to choose colors that were very similar to the original, and I think it turned out really nice. So I'm just gonna roll with it here, okay? And then when we apply this, you simply wanna just make sure that you have it in this orientation. And there's a point here, and there's also a point here in this valley. So that's kind of your, your guide to making sure that you've got it centered. And just try to leave an even amount of space here and here at the bottom. So that the, uh, it's just, you know, the balance is, is just right. So there's your card, beautiful, very quick. And like every card from Dreaming Tree, we include a coordinating envelope. I've already pre-folded everything. And we have this little panel that's gonna go inside to give this kind of a two-toned effect or look. And I'm gonna begin by putting a little bit of glue uh, on these little small areas and then I'll kind of run a little bit of glue around the perimeter of my bow. And then we'll also put some glue just around the perimeter of the actual panel. We don't want to, we didn't want to put glue in here because we're not really sure where to put it and where not to put it. We don't want it popping through. Oops, I have it on the wrong side, but that's okay. I've already made the envelope for this. And there we go. So that looks nice. Um, what you can do is take a little rhinestone, glue that down to the center of the envelope as well. Bling it out a bit. And then you take the two flaps on the side and just put a little bit of glue along the very edge here on the inside. And close it up. Grab my brayer. And keep holding that down until it sets. And you can see here, that's gonna fit in beautifully. Just like that, okay? So as you probably, maybe you didn't see it, added some little gold pearls around the perimeter here. And then don't forget to give your partridge a little eyeball, but that is it for the partridge in a pear tree card. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I would love to see it and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group or you can type in this little URL here at the bottom. So can't, can't wait to see your versions of this or any of the cards from the new bundle. But with that said, happy Christmas crafting and I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and also please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.